Propped up on a foundation of stones, with walls smoothened with red sand and clay, this ancient hut is said to be the very first home of the first Igbo settler to this area, thereby elevating the town of Iboku, where we are presently, to the status of the ancestral home of the Igbos. I'm Yvonne Bassi and welcome to this week's edition of Through the Eyes of an African, reaching you from Anambra State. And on this week's edition of the programme, we shall be visiting many of such priceless historical relics. Do stay on with us. Seven villages make up the town of Igboku, which is further grouped into three major quarters. Ensconced deep within the bowels of a forest region, on the outskirts of Iboku, lies Umudege, a local government area that is steeped in history and widely believed to be the original ancestral home of the Igbo nation. The Obidege hut, meaning the hut of the first son, is the ancient household of the first Igbo settler to this land, who is said to be the ancestral father of the entire Igbo race. In front of the ancient structure, which represents his old living room, the man Igbo, as he is known, is depicted by a massive bronze casting that reflects the typical features of an indigen of Iboku, wearing a traditional loincloth and holding in his hand the highest staff of authority, in the form of an elephant tusk. According to legend, the man Igbo did not die naturally, but grew so old that he merely faded away to join his ancestors, thereby informing the proverb in the land of the Igbos that an Igwe or king does not die, but lives forever. <laughs> 